We're joined today by Phil McNamara, Director of Emperor Energy. Phil, thanks for your time. Hi David, thanks for the opportunity to talk. How are you today? I'm good. Now, other good things, oil and gas, offshore Victoria. That's where the projects are. How have they advanced? We've spent the last few years doing a complete technical review of the Judith gas field. There was a well drilled there in 1989 by Shell. They didn't see a great opportunity in the, in the well at that point in time. We've worked through all of the data that was available from Shell's initial drilling. We've purchased a new set of uh, 3D seismic that was uh, acquired in 2020 across the entire region. We've analysed that seismic data. We've put this all together and we really think that we have a great opportunity here to develop a really, really good gas resource. We currently have a prospective resource in total of exceeding two trillion cubic feet. That's a significant amount of gas. As someone has said to me, you only find one TCF in your life and we still have to prove that the two TF story is correct. That requires drilling of a, of a deep well to 3,300 metres. So our key objective now is to find the partner that can join us, fund the well and prove that the Judith gas field can be a major solution for the gas crisis that's looming in the east coast of Australia. And you recently made an important announcement, a game-changing announcement. Why is it so important? One of the problems with the Judith gas field is that it's always been a situation that the original data that, was, that came from the geophysical logs that Shell did in 1989 always showed low gas saturations and poor permeabilities. Now, we've been through that information with our own uh, consulting uh, petrophysicist, Angie Sanovskis, and she went through and made corrections for mud invasion, mud filtrate invasion into the well walls. We did that last year and that changed the gas saturations. We still had the issue of low permeabilities and that, and that was something that uh, potential farming partners concerned about. We recently engaged Steve Adams, a well-respected industry expert in Australia and New Zealand in, in the area of petrophysics. And Steve has developed his own techniques to review these wells of this sort of vintage and the, the shortcomings of the geophysical logging that occurred at, at those, in those vintages and reassess that with his own techniques. Now he's come back to us confirming Angie Sinovskis' uh, view that there is movable gas in four gas sections or four sandstone sections. He's confirmed the gas saturations that Angie had previously put in place. But the game changer is he's totally changed the permeabilities from where we had permeabilities of 0.8, 1, 1 1.2 millidarcies, we've now got numbers of 12, 24, 5 and 2. And that's always been the problem with Judith is that the whole industry perceives Judith as being poor reservoir quality, poor gas reservoir quality. And we now believe we've got the data and the information from a respected expert to say that's not the case. That's not the case. And where to from here? Right now we've got an application we've uh, submitted to NOPTA, the National Offshore Petroleum Titles Authority. Uh, that application has been submitted to extend the primary term of the permit. That we, we are seeking an extension of another two years of time to secure our partner, complete the approval for the drilling of the well and then drill the well. So we're slightly in limbo, or we are in limbo until we get that approval. If that approval comes through, then that will be a game changer for us in terms of providing us the time we need to complete this process. Meanwhile, the petrophysics report that I've just mentioned uh, has given us a set of numbers that will add more confidence to, to bigger companies, large companies that are looking, looking at potential opportunities to farm in. And we are feeding that data from the petrophysics report into a revised set of AVO analysis. Uh, this is seismic, uh, seismic analysis of amplitude variation with offset a technique used to be able to determine whether hydrocarbons exist by using the, a comparison of the seismic response close to the, from the geophones that are close to the vessel and the ones that are trailing a long way behind. So we've got very modern seismic, we're now engaged an expert to do this AVO work, AVO analysis, and he will be targeting in on Steve Adams' 
petrophysics and calibrating his ABO analysis against the mobile gas zones that Steve Adams has identified in the world. Key information, game-changing opportunity, exciting times ahead for imprint shareholders. Bill, thanks for your time. Cheers, thank you.